Hey, hey, good morning and welcome to another video. Do you see the title of the video yet? So you know there is a disclaimer coming, eh? <laughs> this video isn't for everyone because content creation isn't for everyone. Do you live stream as a hobby? Sorry, mate. Do you live stream to make a quick buck and or want the secret recipe for overnight fame? This video isn't for you either. Apologies. Are you still here? Coolio. Grab your cuppa, jump on a walk train, let's do this. Point one, if you post your live notification outside your own Discord server and or your own Twitter, you already have failed. I see a lot of live streamers and wannabe YouTubers that post their live upload notification everywhere they go. I think this is the biggest misconception of this field. If someone doesn't know that you're live, how can they watch you? The answer isn't spamming your links everywhere. Write your schedule on the streaming platform profile and or landing page, create a site and remind people why you're making other content. These bring me to point two and three. Point two, networking. You heard that before, right? I guarantee you, it was hard for me when I started, so I wouldn't be surprised if that is hard for you too. I found out for myself the difference between good networking and bad. Let me explain. Do you go in other creators' chats and talk for 30 seconds, and then you say something along the lines of, uh, see you later, guys, I'm going now live, bro. Bro, don't you think everyone know what you're up to? Seriously, <laughs> if you're still doing this, that's okay. What goes that got you? Next time, try having an actual conversation with the other people in chat and have fun while it is. If you create meaningful relationship, people will find your links and will find out when you're going live. That said, make sure that you fill out the profile on the live platform completely and link your other platform profiles on that platform. Just confirming I got my point across, have real conversation from now on and treat people like people, actual people, not potential viewers. If they want to watch your content, they will find a way or they will simply ask you. Part three, you have to be online as much as possible so you are visible and people will tune in on your streams. Let's talk about this. There are about 9 million streams every month and most of them have zero to one viewer. Be the difference. Don't overwhelm yourself by streaming long hours to nobody. That's not going to make you famous. It will tire you out and you will end up quitting because, oh, streaming is too hard, it's too time intensive. Let's connect this to point one and two. Use your time wisely. Use the time that you will link spamming and fake chatting to record, edit TikToks and or YouTube shorts. Or even spend time with your partner, family. Life balance is very important in this field, both mentally and physically. Point four, editing and graphic design. You want to be a content creator, right? Are you 100% sure? Then editing content and basic graphic design skills are part of the ordeal. Is it hard? Painful? Time consuming? Bloody oath, mate. But it's part of it. That what separates you from the majority of people that are making content like you are right now. No matter if your content is gaming related or not, you still got to learn how to edit. Wait, 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 wait. I don't mean that your videos need to have special effects, crazy camera shots, or other advanced stuff. You are a small content creator. Own it. You will have some videos that have rough jump cuts 
and simple thumbnails, it's perfectly fine. More you learn editing and graphics designs, better you will get at it. And in the long run, experiment until you find what works for you. Remember, nobody's going to sit through hours on an edited live stream that you uploaded directly from Twitch 24 hours later, unless you have a million follower or subscribers. And even then, no big creator just take his live stream or her live stream and upload it directly on YouTube. Why should you? Point five, Twitch affiliation. I promise you guys, I will try to keep this as short as possible. I'm angry, nasty, so be it. Everyone is grinding for affiliation, begging everyone they meet to help them reach affiliation. So everyone, like sheep, wants to get there and have their chance to earn money by sending away the rights of ownership of their content for 24 hours. Huh? What? You heard right, peoples. Once you sign the affiliation contract with Twitch, you cannot multi-stream because Twitch owns your content legally for 24 hours. And for what? A chance to make money? Having a chance doesn't mean automatically that you will. Why, you ask? So glad you asked. All those so-called friends that help you get across the border, they will be gone because they did it for the same reasons that you did it. And now, nobody watches you. Most people, once they reach affiliation, they see the reality of being a small streamer and how hard it is, both mentally and work-wise. It's a lot of work and quit shortly after. This is because they haven't grown organically, created a real relationship, and having a community with real people. Do you enjoy the video? I'm wondering if I should make another video about this with more stuff. Smash the subscription button, click the notification bell, and slap a comment down below. Or just a favorite emoji. That works too. Don't forget to join the club over at Discord and tune in on one of my streams every Friday at 8 p.m. Australian Central Center time. See what I did there? All the links are down below on the creator side. Have a good week, peoples. Happy creating.